Hello guys again and welcome to another episode of our tutorial series the intermediate guide. In this episode we are going to see how we can combine the tools we learned in the precedent episode or in the previous episode. If you didn't see them go and watch them right now. You will see uh, the basic stuff of how we can use those tools here and in this episode we are going to see how we can uh, apply them on uh, some basic stuff we are not going to do something crazy here just basic stuff let me delete this text here that we created before let me uh, just delete it like this i will delete this layer i don't need this for now i just created it for nothing <laughs> so uh, i told you that you can use this blending option on your text right so let's click here let's uh, let me delete this one i don't need this i will click here test like this here we have a test and I will uh, choose my rectangle tool if you remember the rectangle tool we used it before right and I will just make a rectangle like this I will give it um, let's say let's give it this color here let's keep this stroke mm, it doesn't matter I will keep this one here and I will switch back to this again and I will make an ellipse let's say an ellipse like this and I will make this color, let's say this green one here. This looks good. And we will have this stuff here. I will zoom in just a little bit so we can see what we are doing here. I can hide myself, I don't want to see myself here. And of course we can hide all of this stuff. Um, I'd like to work with a white background. So I will drop this one, let's say just, just here. I will switch to my gradient tool. I will make it uh, into I like to work with uh, a white background so I will make it into a white background like this so we can see clearly what we do and I will select all of my basic shape and I will make them bigger we will see how we can uh, control stuff like this later guys for now let's just keep it like this just follow what I do here and I will zoom in just like this in the first episode we learned how to use uh, this blending option right and how we can affect our text let's say you want the text to have uh, a stroke we learned before how we can give it stroke i will give it just a color i can make it into a black one like this we can from the outside and they can change it like this etc yeah right we we've seen how to use this stuff now the same thing apply to those uh, shapes we created here this is not a text but just a basic shape and of course we can do the same we can click here we can have this stuff here and we can click on this stroke and it will add a stroke to our uh, rectangle tool here if you choose this beverly emboss it will of course add a, an emboss or an other bevel or however you select and add it to your to your uh, text here let me Make this like this let's make this size let's say just like this for example let's make it like this smooth let's make it from the uh, top down let's make it uh, smooth then let's make it from the um, something like this or oh, let's make it smooth it's okay and we can switch everything we want and basically you can add anything that you want to your uh, design here as you can see we have this effect here of course you can use an a color overlay as you can see we can do of course a gradient overlay too we can make a pattern we can have an outer glow if you you want you can have anything that you want it's the same as the uh, other tools and of course let's say i want to give it this feeling here i will press ok and i will move on to this circle here i will select this circle and of course we click again we have the blending option and we can apply our blending option of course again and we can do anything we want so we have this let's say this black one here we have it like this as you can see we can make it bigger or smaller you can change the angle from where it will be showing up let's say mm, let's say like this let's say we can move it like this let's make the opacity a little bit like this as you can see we have this feeling here let's make this size 
mm, just like so it's not this As you can see and right now we have this like a ball right it's not feeling like it was an empty sphere as we, we we had before and right now we have this effect and it's it's showing some depth to our uh, ball here it's now it looks like a, a moon right if we make its color to a moony color let's say something like uh, the, the moon color is like this or it's like this let's say like this anyway it's as you can see it changed how how this this uh, this one feel it's really really easy guys and how cool you can use this blending option and how they can affect your creation and not only this but of course let me switch to my brush tool i will create a new layer uh oops i created a new group i will create a new layer we will talk about group later let's do let's say of course i need to pick a color let's pick this uh, blue color here if we do something like this something just stupid like this and we switch back and we click on this blending option and you click with this bevel and you can see we already have some effects here and we can create uh, our own luck and our own effect and they are already affecting it we can make it like this we can add uh, a stroke to it like this we can add an inner shadow to it we can add an inner glow like this we can make a, a satin like this we can make an overlay glow and oh and color overlay uh, we can do a drop shadow of course if you want as you can see here we have a drop shadow etc you can do basically anything that you want to any shape that you want in your uh, document and why is that why we can apply those bending option to anything we have in photoshop because notice with me what it says i will open the blending option again uh, let me uh, open this blending option here what it says here on the top it says layer style right <laughs> i should have said this before in the beginning but, but i wanted you to show it can affect anything and after that i will tell you why because this will be simple this is a layer style it means it will affect and add a style to any layer you have in your photoshop document and we learned before that everything we create here is considered as a layer and this is why it's a uh, layer style and it will affect your layer however you want because it's in the end of the day just a layer not a layer but <laughs> uh, you get the idea it's it's just a layer and you can make it however you want this is really cool guys and this is really 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 easy now i want to talk about this group uh, as i clicked it before right this is really not not really something uh, hard to explain if uh, let's say you want to create a group let's say you have some shapes let's say you have you have a, a lot of text on your document and you want to create a group of layers uh, just uh, you uh, including just the text so uh, we have this text one here let me select this text here i will duplicate this one just like this make it into three and four I will create a group just like this and basically in this group it's empty right now and I can click and drag inside this group anything I want just like this and if we close this group as you can see right now we have uh, all those inside one group as you can see if you open the group it will open up and if you show the, uh, the the content you can just click in this drop arrow here and it will show you everything you have in your group you close it like this and you can hide all the group and show all of them of course you can rename them make me rename them to anything that you like it's really really easy guys how you can use this group of course you can ungroup them just click and drag something outside from the group and it will be outside the group and not one uh, inside of it anymore this is really easy guys and by the way we finished explaining those tools here those uh, this bar here 
in, in the bottom here we explained how to use this uh, layer style how to use the mask how to use the blending option how to use this group how to create a new layer and how to delete a layer of course uh, i said this before i think it's just a delete button right if you click any layer and click on this delete it will delete the layer and of course if you click on the back uh, on delete on your keyboard it will delete the layer of course just like this or you can click and click on uh, delete it will show you this here and you click yes and it will delete command z to undo your movements etc and stuff like this this is really cool guys and in the next episode we are going to go from the, this corner bottom here up 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 to this uh, menu bar in the top here <laughs> we will talk about those filter now guys this is uh, something cool in photoshop and we are going to see how we can use those filter in your pictures and how you can let's say manipulate your pictures in any way that you want i will leave it here in this episode we explain the stuff I hope you find those those guys uh it's a informative not really uh cool stuff it's just information and trying to show you this information in a basic way of course in the end by the end of this intermediate guide we are going to create a design and it will be something really really cool guys i hope you will look forward to it so uh subscribe if you didn't like what we do if you do like what we do, uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Love you guys so much. See you guys.